friends, welcome to Healthy Body by Sophie. So let's get our stepper ready, get your tire, shoes, clothing, water, electrolytes, uh, a safe platform to move around your stepper and let's get started. I'm gonna go turn the music on and come back over here and join me. All right, let's start moving in place, side to side. We're gonna mirror each other, so I'm gonna say left, right for you. I might mess up at times, but that's the goal. All right, to your right, then left, and keep moving. Just to warm up the tissues a bit, it's good to have done a little pre-warm up, a nice brisk walk, rolling your ankle and wrist, you know, like this. Well, we can do the wrist here. And then the feet, you just point down onto the floor and roll the other side with your wrist. Okay. Now we're gonna step up. Well, step against the stepper for now. And we're gonna go on the beat, so go a little bit slower here to keep to the beat. But don't worry, it's gonna get hot in here. <laughs> okay. Move those hips. Put your hands on your hips if it helps. And move your hips side to side. A bit of an extra twist here. Good for your abs. Good for your buttocks muscles and your thighs. Okay, now we're gonna go up and down. Start with your right foot up forward first. Move your arms to add extra energy being used. If you want to burn calories and reduce fat, then, or body weight overall, it's not always fat. Sometimes it's water retention that we have because we have stagnant energy in our body. And just by moving and exercising, even just to walk, it can be a good start. And then we're gonna switch leg, left leg first. That's enough to get that um, weight to go down. And again, like I said, it's not always fat. You'd be surprised, sometimes it's just water retention. Bloat as well. <laughs> Okay, and switch again, right leg. And we're gonna go faster. And down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We're gonna reach up with our arms. Left foot first. And switch again, right leg. Right foot up first now. Up. Up. Right up. And left now. Right again. So when your right leg was up the first time, put that same arm up and switch again. And then next time it's gonna be the opposite. Right leg again with right arm. Switch. Left foot up and left arm. Again. Right arm, right leg. And keep your hand relaxed on your thigh as I'm doing. Left foot. And breathe. In through your nose. And switch again, right leg and right arm. Switch. Keep going. Now left foot and left arm. You got it now, I guess, huh? Yeah, I got it, so you have it. Again, switch, right. And left. 
Change it up a bit. Left. Good. Stay down, stay low, and just point your feet up. So you push off with your foot and let your arms on your thighs just to get the movement in the legs. And move your torso at the same time. When you have your left knee that goes up, it's your right shoulder that goes forward. And when it's your right knee that goes forward, it's your left shoulder that goes in front. When it's your left knee that goes in front, it's your right shoulder that goes in front. Good. Go low. And move your arms with it. Keep low. On the stepper. So I started with the left foot here, okay? Usually I start with the right foot, sorry. Now right. So stay low this time. And do the wheel like this with your legs, with your arms. Now left foot. Keep low. Right foot now. Left foot again. This one will be reversed. And right. Keep low. You should feel your buttocks muscles. You're working. And left. Keep low. Bend your knees. Feet pointing. As much forward as you can. Slight external rotation is okay. Ready? We're gonna go right again. Right. Good. All right. Let's see if I can remember what I was doing on this one. Okay. Yes. I think. Okay. So I'm gonna go here. To your right. You're gonna go here. Here. You're gonna go down. Up. Here. And then you're gonna go across. Step until we count of eight, and I'm gonna go across the other way. Here, and cross in the marching place, you ready? But you're right. Left and right. Across to your left. To your right and to your left. And walk in place, march. Now to your right. Hop, skip, and down to your right. To your left. To your right, I mean to your left. Now to your right, to your left, and to your right, to your left, to your right, to your left, keep going, to your right, to your right, and to your left. To your right. To your right. To your left. And go back and forth. You got it by now, right? To your right. To your left. To your right. And again. To your left. To your right, 
So first step on the stepper, okay? Step across, hop, and to your left, and march. To your right, to your left, and to your right. Again, to your left, and to your left. Good, you got it. A few more and we'll be done with this one. Across, skip, and to your right. <laughs> Again, to your left. Oops. There you go. Now you go to your left. Just have fun with it. To your left, all right, my left. Good. All right, so here we're gonna do double tap. And you go down, up, and your arms go with it. So first you open with your foot and then you go in. Internal rotation, external, internal. Like a puppet. Okay, we're gonna go. If you can't keep, go high impact, because I'm hopping here, then keep it low. But I'm doing double tap. Now fast. You could twist, or just go back and forth if you want to focus on your legs. And twist your legs. Good for your core. It's hot in here. I can't keep the temperature down without the air conditioning, because it's so humid. Okay. Use your arms. And I decided to wear these long tights. Well, the quarter lengths, but still. And forward. Okay, hop side to side again. Now instead of twisting across, you just do a lateral, lateral stretch. I, I studied it early. There you go. Nice, super hot. Too fast to do this on the stepper. So give yourself some space from the stepper. Don't get too close. Okay, now cross. So go wider. Arms out. Did you like this one? Let's go back up and down on the stepper and down. Switch left up down. Sorry, I have to be on the music. <laughs> You're gonna go out and in, out and in. Now switch right leg. And alternate with your arms. Once it's the left arm in front, the other arm is the left. Now switch. When you go up, your arms go out. Doesn't really matter, but that's why I'm doing how I'm doing it. Now switch again. Right leg up. Open your arms. How are you doing? And alternate your arms. And switch again, left leg first. Palm of your hand face up. Switch arms, left in front, right in front. And switch again, right. Mm -hmm. 
Switch again, left first. Up. Oh, I doubled it. It's okay. Next one, we're gonna go with the right, okay? Ready? Up. Okay, we're gonna do a kick. We're gonna kick with our leg when we go up. Up, kick. One, one, two. One. With one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So one, two, three, four, basically. One more, I'm gonna switch. Switch. So you go with your left foot first. So it's two step on and two step the off. Good, we did one each side each time, that's good. All right. Now you're gonna go down. Reach to the side of your body. Open, close. Now we're gonna take this to the stepper. So get this first. Arms open and closed. And you lean to one side. So as you lean to one side, whichever side you lean, obviously the arm will be lower. So I'm going to throw you off. Ready? I'm going with this leg. I'm going to go here. So you look at what you're doing. Once you have the movement, with your eyes, you look at your hand. And you push down into your thigh. And down. You can do a little hop or keep it down. Here, I have everything all up in the air. Oh, you keep it down. Keep it down, we'll be here. So you kind of bend forward. Oh, hop. Use your arms the momentum if you go up off the floor with your legs. And breathe. Down, up, down. Good. Now low. That's too much. Break it down. There we go. Really hot in these tights. So when you're up, when you go slow, er, it allows you to open the chest. You can't do that when you go faster. Not like this. Ready to go faster again? Press down with your arms. So we're not twisting here as much. It's more pushing down with your arms into your legs, into your calf, and your thigh. Good. Now we're gonna go side to side. And back to the other side. So to your left. Go all the way. My camera is tracking, but it's a wide uh, range. 
lens so it distorts a bit but you still get the gist of it you see what I'm doing and you, you're right center now we're gonna go on flexing just to stretch the back of our legs our calves we worked them quite a bit see how rosy my cheeks are I'm so hot under these tights I'm gonna have to get the these are compressions some kind of compression stocking in it as well I'm gonna have to get the short version okay pull back I focus so much on your legs that the arms we didn't put as much focus on the arms not as much as I would have liked to anyway so pull back and open your hands extend your fingers and your wrist as much as you can and rest your heel on the stepper I've said the, this word enough time where I don't say a board anymore <laughs> now we're gonna point with our feet ready and point because we have to stretch the top as well our tibialis interior muscle on the front on the shin straight on your knee nothing crazy hard you know just just enough to engage the tissues in your quadriceps now flex again be more out and alternate with your hand so I'm not gonna go all the way across with my one arm because I have the mic right in front of me good now point okay now music is faster all right across we're gonna go twist here so your body can go across only a couple more music I think almost there dips how about that dip sounds good we might even have done it on this music so we're gonna go on the stepper and we're gonna go dip up dip you ready I'm gonna both sides gonna start with the right down up down up down it's quite easy for me anyway right now because I'm using the lowest setting on my stepper I don't have it at the medium or highest so if it's still too much for you to do this um, then use something even lower or we'll focus the, just on the legs and don't add the arms ready we're gonna switch and do the other leg now so instead of stepping down with the right we're gonna step down with the left ready okay now it's your left leg going down you have to work both legs and add the arms if you're ready and as your arms cross in front and behind alternate arms once in front with the left and then the next time it's the right that arms are in front of the other side switch ready now the right leg goes down so when you go off the stepper your arms go down just the lo most logic thing to do keep going doesn't mean the other way can be done it's just uh, more challenging so right now let's just focus on this one because if you can do a movement in one direction your body should be able to do it the other way in contraction or extension eccentric and concentric right 
You should be as strong in either direction. And switch. Left down first. You got it. Now this, is a, this has allowed me to cool down in my leggings because I was so warm. Not as warm as the last, the one time that I wore my uh, full equal leather friendly uh, black pants. Switch leg again. And switch again. Switch again. You now switch more quickly. Now switch again. Count of eight, okay? Two, three, four, and switch. So it can be four, eight, you just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, switch. One, two. And switch again. And switch again. One, two, three, and four. One more time, the other side. Now you can do the other side now. There you go. And let me go step back. All right, so now we're going to cool down a bit. So we're gonna do some stretch to the side. And I'm gonna step on the stepper. As we're gonna go forward doing the same movement, but instead of going lateral, side to side, we're gonna go forward. I'm straight. I like to keep my fingers as straight as possible. So here you're gonna go up. Arabesque, hold it and back down. And switch side. Left to foot up. Right arm in front. Bend the lower leg. And down. Switch again. Right leg up on the stepper, push up. So you can have one arm in front, one arm back. So usually you do the opposite. If you have your left leg on the stepper, your right arm is in front. And switch again. Woo, there we go. And down, and switch. So make sure you find a point in front of you. Go on your stand leg and raise your back leg as high as you can. If you can have a mirror so you can see what you're doing, that's great. Now we're gonna go sideways. And down. The other leg. So your left leg on the stepper, you're gonna open out to the side. And you can put your arms out. And down. Now right leg on the stepper, you open out. So you go here, like a tree position, and open out. So you, if you can go more than 90 degrees, then you'll be tilted a bit. Or just stay right here. If that's all you can do, that's completely fine. And down. Um, now we're gonna do the right leg on the stepper and left leg out. So you could go here, here, it doesn't matter. And switch again. Just hold it here on the stepper. Arms out, bring your leg in front of you, back in tree position, out, flex in tree position, and then back, flex, and in tree position. If the flexing makes it too difficult, then just don't flex. Let's do the other side and then we'll be done. So, um, how did I do it the other side? Here, oh yeah, here, my leg out. Then bring it in front of you, flex if you can. If you do, if it makes you lose your balance and don't, then keep your foot pointed, it makes it easier. And back to tree position and back. 
and back to tree position. And down. You did amazing. So there's a little bit of stretches and cool down, very minimal that I just did right now at the end. Uh, but now I'm going to shut all this off and I'm going to do a cool down stretches. Okay, so I'm back. I um, went and hydrated, had a little bathroom break, and uh, I grabbed a couple of towels that I'm probably going to be using. And I'm going to switch into my jazz shoes. You could just have some uh, like yoga socks or something like that that you like to have or you maybe bare feet if that's what you want. Just make sure you're not slipping even though we're not going to be doing anything that should require you uh, much slipping on the floor. It just depends what kind of floor you're using. Alrighty, so there you go. I'm prepared. Uh, I cool down a bit more. It's like over 23, 24 degrees Celsius here. We can't get any colder right now because the humidity has spiked up despite it uh, not being terribly, uh, you know, hot yet. Uh, yet it is warm. So, uh, and I don't want to turn the air conditioning yet. It's way too early for the air conditioning in April. No way. I'm going to wait a little while. Okay, so here... Um, I would like to do a few stretches uh, from having done our step class. Uh, so we just start, so you cool down, you make sure you don't see it, you know, you, 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 you're so worked up that you could get dizzy leaning forward like this. Um, make sure you've cooled down. And so now you're gonna have your one leg in front, so here your right leg in front, flex your foot. We did stretch a bit that way while we did movement standing. But now we're going to really be focusing on that. That's going to be the main focus. So you will find one leg um, in any given area of your body. It's not the same. So one calf might be tighter than the other. One hamstring, one thigh, one hip rotation or whatnot. Uh, we are not perfect and that's just the way it is and that's completely fine. You just work with it and you modify as needed. So here now, let's switch side. Put your left foot in, on top of the stepper, so this side um, is a little bit tighter for me as far as my hamstring and my calf. So plus there's an external rotation in my hip, so feel what your body is doing. If your foot wants to point out and your hip wants to rotate out, then that means you most likely have a rotation outward in that leg. It could also be attributed due to tightness more on that side, on the back side of the leg and thigh. And again, bend the knee, push off and switch side. We're going to do that one more time. So if you have a hard surface here, don't necessarily put your heel on a hard surface. Make sure you have socks, some kind of a support cushioning or towel. Especially if you have back pain, believe it or not, now bend your knee, push off. Uh, putting too much pressure on your heel when you're doing certain uh, squats or this kind of thing. Um, if you put too much pressure on your heel, um, it, it actually can send referral uh, uh, triggers to your back and put your back in flare-up. So just watch for that. Alrighty, so... Um, now we're going to bend that front leg, which is in your case your left, your right one if you're mirroring me, and you have the knee bent in the back, uh, the front I mean, the back is somewhat bent as well, but the goal is to straighten it a bit. So here you may want to put, I will, just because I want to prevent my knees um, and keep them as healthy as long as possible. Sometime they can give a bit of trouble but it's because of tightness through everything else around and within the joint capsule it could be getting a bit more weak um, but so that's why you use those props they come very handy and why not use it if it helps already so here you can stand straight if you want if you can and push the thigh here the hip flexor forward squaring your hips so now since I have a towel on my 
and on my knee, I know it's a lot safer for my knee. I could even double it and even create a more cush even more so cushioning. I mean, I do have the yoga mat as well, so that is very helpful. And push forward. Now you're gonna switch sides, so I can use the same towel for the other side, obviously, uh, because mine is a is a regular uh, bath towel size. So the foot is nice and flat behind. And the one in the front as well is pointing forward and I'm gonna stretch forward as much as I can. I'm gonna go in a vertical position with my torso and putting my hands resting above the, th the knee on my thigh and pushing forward, pulling my uh, belly in, dropping your shoulders down. <sighs> Good, Alrighty. So now we're gonna go into the child pose, so you're gonna have your knees on the towel, you might as well use it. Um, I would if I were you, and then just stretch your back nice and gently. See if you can sit your uh, buttocks on top of the um, your heels, and stretch your arms forward, go as far down as you can. Don't push your neck down too, too much, just keep it nice and neutral between your arms, um, kind of ears into the arms kind of uh, uh, level. <sighs> okay, then from here you could do a modified cobra. So for some of you who cannot reach all the way to the floor, this could be a, new, a version of a compromise if uh, being all the way on the floor, and even if you can't do it all the way on the floor, this is completely fine, just as a warm up, and then you take it all the way down to the floor. <sighs> if it's too much pressure, um, your hips or the front, your, your pelvis, you can, uh, then you can put a towel right here to rest, and go back in child pose forward, with your head down, arms stretched out above your head, and hands on the stepper, pull it, pushing um, your buttocks back toward your ankles or your, yes, your, um, your heels. And again, breathe in and breathe out. So your hands here on the front of the stepper, drop your heels, uh, your hips down on against the stepper, drop your shoulders down. And arch as much as you can in a safe way, look nice in front of you, pull your belly in, and there you go. Now I'm gonna do the pigeon, so that is a good one. I'm going to be adding a towel onto the stepper because uh, when I was practicing just a moment earlier before I did my step class, I reversed what I was gonna do a little bit, and um, that can be uncomfortable on this bony surface here, which is called the malleolus, if any of you is interested in anatomy. Um, so the lateral malleolus of your ankle, so that would be of your, if you're mirroring me, that would be your right ankle you're using. So now it even makes it a little bit easier if you have a bit of tightness, uh, um, more, you know, more than a yogi would. Um, then the stepper and the towel are actually very helpful. And then you tuck your back leg uh, under, trying to get your knee down and the front of your ankle. So this part is onto the floor and you're squaring your hips as much. So if that's too not high enough, you could bump it up. I am going to, that makes it a lot easier for me now. And it's not cheating at all, it is, to keep the proper form, sometimes you may not be able to take a movement all the way flat to the floor, so you're just using uh, props. And in this case, uh, I'm uh, being creative using a stepper, why not, since we just did a step class. Uh, number 12, I believe it was. Alrighty, so here nice, arms out to the side, <sighs> drop your shoulders down, try and pull that back, thigh, the, the hip flexors of our back thigh forward into the stepper and pull that belly in, drop your shoulders down, relax here through the chest and breathe in through the belly. So if you want to work on your breath while being in this position, why not? If you're comfortable, 
Breathe in through the belly, pushing into your one hand. So that would be your left hand if you're mirroring me. And exhale. Breathe in through your nose. And exhale. So start breathing in through your nose and expanding through your belly. Then it's your chest that rises afterward. You can breathe out through your mouth or in through your nose as in and out through your nose. You pick whichever technique you want. This is not just one technique. But generally speaking, I will have to say breathing in through the nose makes the most sense and scientifically it's proven that it is the best way um, to inhale. All right, so now we're gonna switch sides. So we're gonna go from here forward. You could do a little stretching of through here, especially if you're one of those people who are super tired. I know a few people <laughs> um, in my entourage who are so tight that it's very difficult to even do this. So that's okay, then practice this one and and uh, uh, you know, pause and then stretch a bit this way. That would be a perfect setup here with a towel and the stepper. And then you're gonna switch sides. So now, oh, uh, I'll have to show a modified version of the, that, that uh, pigeon toe with a, with a step. If this is too much, even with a leg up here, then you can have your leg down below. So I'll show you here because I added the two towels. I didn't feel the need to do that. But you could do this where you have your knee bent still here 90 degree, but it allows you to be more square in your hips and then your form is better, better um, if, um, so you can gauge however far forward or back you want your body. Um, you just have to work with, with uh, how you're feeling that day uh, or generally speaking. Uh, you can even have a towel on the floor so that it is on front of your knee if that helps that's gonna generally speaking this is actually gonna make um, a little bit more actually challenging to keep your form uh, nice and square uh, but it's gonna support your knee with a bit more cushioning so then if you want the cushioning here and here then just put another towel here to raise your body higher in my case, I'm just gonna uh, leave it here for um, for now. I don't want it on the floor and square. So here you can be with a foot down here, as I was just saying. Um, if that is too much and you're feeling too much of a pull, this is a great stretch for your piriformis. Uh, so now with a leg up here, which you can do that as well, sitting on a chair. You might have learned the Taylor stretch in the past from um, a therapist you've uh, gone to or a personal trainer. Um, but this is great for stretching your piriformis muscle, your gluteal muscles, all of that. Um, well, specifically the piriformis muscle, and even on the side of your thigh with your IT band, uh, hamstrings a bit and all of that. You feel anyways through the fascia tightness, all of that pulling. And then square your hips as much as possible, drop your shoulders down, try and be level as much as possible. My mirror is split behind my camera, so it's hard for me to see if I'm level right now. Uh, <laughs> but, um, uh, so, um, yeah. You, you just have to make sure you have something to make sure you're nice and aligned. That is the best way to do it. Pull the belly in. And again, you can do the same thing. One hand on your chest, the other one on your belly and work on that breath work a few times. So breathe in through your belly and through your nose and exhale. Pull your belly in, relax and allow your chest to rise. Breathe in through your belly and inhale with your nose and exhale. And also straighten the neck. So a nice gentle pull through the back of your head. So you like if you have a string that's pulling your head and your spine straight up toward the sky. And drop those shoulders down. Breathe in again through your belly. Nose and nose. And exhale. Breathe out through your mouth. Good. So that was a really good stretch. I hope you enjoyed that. So um, if you want, you can take this exercise, uh, stretching in pigeon uh, pose back and forth a few more times. 
um, this will uh, resume for today there's so many other uh, stretches that can be done um, in other videos so I don't want to give it all now because it could be too much for what you have planned in your day today so as long as you do something a little bit every day that's really what matters um, or even in the step class that I did at the end I do a couple of minutes cooling down a bit uh, just to um, you know uh, get uh, our blood flow and our nerves back uh, grounded and um, feel good for the rest of your day so um, another version I will just say if you want to not if you're really so exhausted you can't do anything just well here I have my mic so it's gonna feel a bit it's not the ideal for me but you get the idea so you would be laying down like this I would roll a towel and instead I'll do that one because it is a great one you can do it in many ways you can do it with a foam roller as well you could do it just like this and then that is a great alternative way to if you don't have a foam roller uh, to stretch the chest just use your stepper and then just rest in that position it's actually easier if the foam roller is too difficult because it's round a stepper or something that resembles a stepper is a great alternative uh, you can even meditate in this position so there you go here's another little tip then turn on your side just to make sure you are sitting up in a safe way um, and there you go here's another little tip as my mind always keeps racing with new ideas I could go on and on and on so until next time I see you with new moves and more moves that I might combine from different videos because I just come up with them or remember them um, I would like to thank you so much for watching me today oh, good morning good afternoon good evening as I keep focusing on both cameras now um, and I will see you next time thank you so much namaste Keep up the good work. You're doing amazing with your exercises. I hear so many comments from all of you who are saying it's helping you lose weight uh, and reach whatever goal it is, or even strength, stamina. Even a lady said, this is so great. I'm a recovered, uh, a someone with a cardiovascular condition. Um, and based on what her cardiologist told her and surgeon, this kind of stuff is exactly what she needed and she is thanking me on uh, my in my comments so make sure to let me know because this is very helpful for me um, as i keep creating new stuff every single day all right take care and uh, subscribe like uh, watch my other videos we'll pop up a few of uh, them on the screen here that you can research once you see what it's called and um, take care namaste